I definitely hate to look bad when I'm reviewing a game. Like, for example, when I can't get past the second friggin' level. But it has to be done. I have to tell you about it, and in this review, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'm not nearly good enough to beat the second level of Biohazard Battle, a fairly popular side-scrolling shooter that had its time in the spotlight as one of Sega's original titles in 1992. The cyberpunk story behind this game might cause you to wash your hands and brush twice a day. A global bio-war on the planet Averon has chased humanity out and into a space station, where their last hope for habitation again is through these buggy-looking ships with organic exoskeletons, which are fortunately armed with cannons and a secondary weapon which flies around it. Still, my skills aren't nearly enough to cruise through level 2, and I'd love to see someone who can. Yes, I will suffice to say that my shoot-'em-up skills have never been stellar, especially in Biohazard Battle. Swarms of enemies will surround you, which include railbots, tadpole-looking creatures, and huge rail-mounted guns, causing you to dodge both their bodies and the bullets they discharge. Just because a game offers highly difficult gameplay, however, doesn't necessarily mean it is leaps and bounds over its peers. In my eyes, Biohazard Battle doesn't really push the envelope of side-scrolling shooters. The colors are rather drab and flat, and although you're flying around a blown-out cyberpunk cityscape, Sega could have done better to make the background and surrounding elements more interesting, with building fires, electric storms, Hell, anything that makes Averon look like it's something in the future. Overall, Biohazard Battle might deserve to be in the Sega Genesis Classic Collection on Steam, but one that I might leave on the back burner in favor of something fun and, I don't know, beatable.